Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've removed the plenum chamber from inside the car that uh, the heater box uh, fits up against uh, this surface here. Uh, the top of the plenum chamber, which has that rubber seal on, sits just below the uh, grill in the car. It's held on to the uh, inside of the car with three bolts fitting into bobbins, uh, fiberglass into the uh, plenum chamber itself. There's also a hole in the base, just there, uh, that allows any rainwater that uh, seeps into the plenum chamber to be uh, vented. And there's the little rubber grommet there that fits in that, in that hole. It's a fairly simple thing to remove from the car. Let's have a look. Bolts are accessed from inside the engine bay. You can see two there. Uh, and there is one just in the centre there. And to the left is the drain plug. Right, here we are inside the car. And you can see just up there where the plenum chamber seals against the grill. Uh, the bolts uh, fit through here into the bobbins in the plenum chamber, two, a third one there, and the drain holes there. I originally thought that I'd have to remove the wheel boxes uh, to allow me to remove the plenum chamber, but that wasn't necessary. It just slid out fine once uh, I'd removed the, uh, the rubber seal. So the next job is to remove the wiper motor and the wheel boxes uh, to check the uh, wiper motor over, give it a good clean as, as you can see over there it's, it's looking a little bit dusty and grubby so allow me to grease it all up as well. I must say I do like these stainless wipers. Um, apparently they are very difficult to get hold of, but these are in very good condition. So the first thing to uh, allow us to remove the wiper motion wheel boxes is to actually remove the uh, wiper arms. And these just pull off, uh, then we can uh, undo that nut and then it all should slide through once I've disconnected the motor from inside. So let's have a look at that. And here we are with the wiper motor, which is secured to this bracket here that's uh, actually bonded into the car. The wiper motor is then fixed to that bracket by a U-shaped bracket, which is held on with two bolts. Once that's undone and I've undone the nuts I showed you securing the uh, um, wheel box through the uh, scuttle of the car um, that will just drop through then and the same with the other one just over there that grill just there that allows cold air to come into the car Right, here we are inside the car. They've got the wiper motor there. There's a terminal block that needs to be disconnected if you've already got your wiring room still installed. Um, from the wiper motor, we have the wheel box there, one of them, there's another one there to the view. There are two nuts there that uh, attach to that bracket, which is uh, fiberglass into the body of the car. So 7 16th socket that's needed to undo that. And it just drops out because we've already removed the nuts from the outside of the car. Uh, 
and it just pulls out. Components to make up the wiper system on a low to see land. We've got the stainless uh, steel wiper arms, there we've got the motor uh, which uh, turns a gear which then turns a spiral inside that tube which apparently is called a Bundy tube and then that uh, operates a little geared wheel uh, that turns uh, the wipers. Uh, these stainless, sorry, these chromed um, decorative parts are a little bit pitted. Um, as you can see, the wiper motor is covered in dust uh, on both sides. Uh, I'm just going to take the back face off here to have a look inside and see if it's uh, well greased. Um, okay, let's take this cover off and see the condition of it inside. and it looks in pretty good condition in there. I might clean this grease out at some point in the near future and put some fresh grease in there because it's, it's gone a bit sticky. God knows how long it's been in there. So. Okay, let's now have a look inside one of the wheel boxes. Again, that could do with cleaning out of all the... Yeah, there's a lot of horrible grease in there that's got all dust mixed in with it so that needs all cleaning out and there you can see the spiral that uh, travels the length of the tube from the um, uh, gear and as that rotates it drives this wheel to operate your windscreen wipers so it, as, it, as with most of the things on the car it needs a good clean out, a re-greasing uh, so that's the job for tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this uh, a little bit interesting and if you've never taken uh, a wiper motor out before uh, with all the components removed from inside and underneath the dashboard, it's easy. I can see it being a bit more tricky with um, uh, the wiring glue and the dashboard and the heater box in place. Um, uh, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. There'll be lots more to come. Uh, thank you.